This is a capture race challenge for black. So it seems like three liberties versus three liberties. And if black just occupies the liberties from the outside, right, black should be able to succeed. But white can make an eye here at number two. Even so, it still seems like black will be able to succeed this way. Very easy, right? Actually, no, right? The problem is whenever you see this pattern, you should be really careful because there is a cutting point right here. What happens with this cut is that now black must try to capture number six. And as black does that, right, black cannot come into H19 right here. So black must spend an extra move removing number six, and black will be killed this way because of number six. Therefore, because of this shortage of liberty situation with these four stones, right, they're not related to this direct fight, but because of this weakness in black's shape, simply occupying liberties doesn't work. So that's why black must play this move, right? Usually a good move because as you can see, white can make an eye at number two. So if you're black, you wanna destroy this eye in this race to capture. And because these moves are on the first line, what happens is that even though this is three liberties versus three, and white will be able to occupy black's liberties from the outside, black can connect underneath. So one and three actually make a connection, right? Because white cannot come in at number four. So the best white can try is to play the Atari from the outside, and now white is in a connect and die situation. So that is why number one here can guarantee black success. Similarly, if white plays something like this, this doesn't work, right? Two liberties versus three, white is already dead. If white plays something like this, right? Now, because white is also short on liberties, number five will be a connect and die for white. If white connects here, then this is also very easy. You just play at number three, and white only has two liberties left. If white plays something like this, you can still play here in this situation. Right, you need to be a little careful whenever you play something like this. White cannot capture you, and white cannot come in from either side. So number three will finish white off. So there are a couple of key takeaways. Number one is the wrong sequence I showed you at first, right? Because it's just, it seems very intuitive that number five will succeed, but actually because of this cut, the result is exactly the opposite. And the second takeaway is that whenever your opponent can make a real eye, in a capture race, it might be a good idea to try to destroy it with your own move. It doesn't work 100% of the times, but it's usually a good idea that's worth calculating. So hope that helps, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.